Welcome back to Prepare Like a Pro Live Chat Show. My name is Chad McLean. I am the host, and thank you for tuning in to this Sunday episode. Tonight, we'll debrief last week's live chats with Jordan Seller, our Adelaide Prepare Like a Pro coach, as well as Pip Taylor, the former performance dietitian at the Brisbane Lions. Discuss the upcoming live chats. We've got three live interviews this week, as well as two podcasts that will drop, one on Tuesday and one on Friday. And of course, uh, we're super pumped. Gyms are finally back open in Melbourne. So we'll discuss about some future programs that are going ahead with our coaching program. But to start with, a little bit of a debrief from last week's chat. Uh, We discussed Geordie's um, journey in the strength and conditioning industry. He was an athlete first, and that's where he discovered his passion for performance as a basketballer, playing as a high-level basketballer and getting exposed to strength conditioning and athletic training. Um, And then he mentioned how that sort of helped him uh, decide what his career path would be. Uh, He was got in contact with a coach from the Adelaide Crows uh, and was lucky enough to get an internship, uh, as he mentioned. It wasn't exactly what he expected as a strength and conditioning coach, but he jumped at the opportunity being a video analysis. So for those that aren't aware, in the AFL, you'll you'll have uh, a couple of video analysis and some tra- uh, filming training. Some will go out to community and film uh, uh, games uh, for recruiting purposes. Uh, so Jordy did it all, uh, and he mentioned how helpful and how much he actually enjoyed it and saw it as a potential career path if he didn't get employed as a strength conditioning coach by the club, um, but he did also put in extra and he talked about the importance of of athlete of S and Cs putting themselves out there and making sure you're getting quality experience. Um, he was unfortunately, like myself, part of the cuts for the COVID um, soft cap um, price reductions that were made in the AFL in 2020. Uh, so he went back into state league football, working in the Sandfall and uh, was super successful um, getting uh, and being involved in two premierships uh, at that level, which is an amazing feat and, and how special he said it was being a part of that. Uh, and then now he's doing big things back in the Adelaide Crows, managing the AFLW women's program. So we're super lucky to have Jordy as part of our team. Uh, it's great to have a representative in Adelaide. We've worked with a few Adelaide athletes on our online program over the last year and a half and super excited to have now a coach that can do face-to-face sessions with Geordie. So if you are in Adelaide and you're listening to this either live or in the podcast world and you want to work with Geordie one-on-one, all you need to do is to email us at jack at preparelikeapro.com and if you put the subject heading uh, podcast, uh, I'll, that will immediately put you in the VIP list. I'll definitely get back to you within the 24 hours because, as we know, our, our podcast listeners are, are great clients. So really happy to skip the list and get you straight into a free trial. So um, if you're interested, make sure to reach out, guys. We also had Pip Taylor, uh, another great chat and, and a fantastic interview. Really fortunate to have Pip on. We discussed, firstly, her uh, former... Um, professional triathlete uh, experiences Um, and she talked about how much she got from and how important nutrition was uh, as a pro athlete especially in the sports of of triathlete being so demanding on the body uh, and constantly pushing the body to improve Um, she has huge passion you can tell for health and performance and really educating um, athletes to to get better and improve their lifestyle habits uh, and how important habits are, particularly for developing athletes. So I thought that was a really informative chat. Um, and for those that missed the live chat on Friday at 12 p.m., make sure to watch it on our YouTube channel. Uh, we'll post a highlights reel on our Instagram tonight at 7 p.m. so you can get a bit of a taste. But we went into not only what she did as an athlete, but the work that she did at the Brisbane Lions, um, working as their performance dietitian, some of the things that she found helpful for for those athletes, whether you're trying to put on muscle or um, drop body fat and and, and also not to compare yourself to other athletes about your body composition, but ultimately you're going to be measured by your performance as a footballer. So make sure that's where you're putting your energy and focusing all your um, efforts on that goal, not how you look or... um, 
what you're doing uh, outside of football. It's it's all about how you feel as an athlete, how you're recovering and how you're performing uh, on the field. So I thought that was a really good philosophy. Uh, and she discussed the actually how much it helped her to support the athletes at Brisbane by not knowing the sport um, and, and just dealing with the athletes as a person uh, and whatever challenges they had. Um, she didn't have any, um, wasn't blinded by the, by the sport, so to speak. It was purely dealing with the person who was in front of her and how she found that actually really helped her as a practitioner. And um, she said, as well as Geordie, where we talked about COVID cuts, um, she now sits on the board of the Australian Sports Dietitian she's, and she's heavily involved in that, supporting sports dietitians that work in the AFL and how um, nutrition was an area that was also cut uh, in the development space uh, across the board. So there's some things they're putting in place over the next couple of years that will no doubt help developing athletes get exposed to um, nutritional help, whether it be cooking classes um, or even just upskilling your ability to make uh, good decisions when at the grocery store. So watch this space, really looking forward to seeing what comes out of that. And um, yeah, as soon as we hear, we'll make sure to post it on our socials and, and announce it on our podcast. Um, I know a lot of the athletes on our program are super eager to learn and grow with their uh, nutrition and fueling their training. In terms of upcoming guests this week, we've got uh, three huge uh, interviews coming up. We've got JB Morin. For those that don't know JB, or, or the S&Cs probably will, but for the athletes that don't know JB Morin, he is in France. So it'll be a, um, another international interview, which is exciting. He is a real specialist when it comes to sprinting and uh, sprinting performance for athletes. So really looking forward to having a specialist on uh, that has done so much research in a, in this space and uh, yeah, looking forward to diving into some deep topics all around improving your speed and power as, as an athlete. So that will be 8 p.m. Tuesday night for those that want to watch. All our live chat interviews are on our YouTube channel. So if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you do. You'll receive a notification as soon as we go live so you won't be able to miss any of these live chats. Um, and they're super dynamic as well if you're new to the podcast uh, obviously, that will be the recording when you listen to the podcast recording. But if you want to get engaged with these live events, you can actually send through questions via our YouTube channel and, and I'll make sure that we, we get to those questions so you get involved into the podcast, which is always good fun. We have uh, Don Scott, who co-hosts with Sammy Newman, um, You Can't Be Serious podcast. So he'll be live. That'll be a face-to-face -face podcast like I did with Sammy Newman. And the time is to be confirmed, but we're looking for, at the moment, with Pencil in Wednesday, 12 p.m. So for those interested in joining in that live interview, make sure to tune in 12 p.m. Wednesday. Uh, the night before on Tuesday, I'll definitely announce the specific time, but at this stage, it's 12 p.m. Wednesday. Uh, so really looking forward to sharing. Don, he's a legend of the game, uh, ex-AFL or former AFL uh, Hawthorne Premiership captain. So really looking forward to sharing his story. And then on Thursday night, we have the Collingwood Football Club's uh, sports psychologist. So that will be on at 8 p.m., sharing Jackie Lauder's story and her journey and uh, another area where we've got a specialist on and an expert. So it would be great to dive into the mental game, both from a recovery point of view, a well-being point of view. It's such an important space and, and a growing area uh obviously the training point of view with with football hasn't changed a great deal in terms of what we do in the gym and on the field it has had um some changes over the years but um the mental space seems to have had a, lot, a big amount of growth and i'm really looking forward to um, discussing that with jackie as well as some helpful tips and tricks for athletes uh, to learn to improve their recovery with things like mindfulness meditation but also um, how to reflect on your game and how to um, be a bit easier on yourself when it comes to those that are really critical uh, and can beat themselves up a little bit. Uh, so important of uh, staying positive and getting that balance right between reflecting on areas you can improve and getting better, but also um, focusing on the things that you're doing well too. So it'd be good to um, have another sports psychologist on the podcast. And then our upcoming podcast uh, episodes for this week will be Geordie Seller, our Adelaide High Performance uh, Manager for the Adelaide Crows, as well as the Prepare Like a Pro 
coach based in Adelaide. That will be on Tuesday. And we have Rebecca Alcock uh, on Friday, the Melbourne Football Club Sports Dietitian. So Premiership Dietitian will be launched on Friday. Really looking forward to both those episodes. And um, you can watch the premiere um, to get a bit of a taste of those episodes. We launch the premiere on our YouTube channel the night before. So Monday night at 8 p.m. you can watch Geordie Sellers' episode that's about six minutes worth of highlights, highlight reels, like 30-second clips. Um, so you get a bit of an idea of what to expect from the episode before watching it, the, the listening to it the next day. And then for Rebecca Alcox, we'll launch that Thursday night at 8 p.m. So you can watch the recording, get a bit of an idea of uh, what you can get out of that podcast recording on our YouTube channel. Um, it would be silly of me not to celebrate the fact that Melbourne is opening up. Super pumped for all our Melbournians. Um, it's been a tough time um, and really challenging with for those uh, that have been running or working in gyms, all the gym owners. Um, I know uh, all our edge training community, both members, coaches and the owners, uh, it's been tough. We've, you know, we opened the gym in January and it's... it's um, been closed more than it's been open due to lockdown uh, and then for the wider the community melbourne's been recorded gyms have been closed for more than a year so more than 365 days over the last year and a half gyms have been closed so incredibly challenging time but exciting that we are opening up this friday the friday the 29th at 6 p.m so for those athletes in melbourne that want to get back into gym training make sure you i was just talking to my athletes before every sunday I have a presentation and this week's topic to the athletes was all about gradual progression with your gym loads. If you haven't touched a barbell for six or eight weeks, don't just go straight into lifting really heavy. Make sure you trust the process, follow the program as it's written. And for those that don't have a program, maybe jump on our free trial. Uh, all you need to do is subscribe to our email list and you can get a seven day trial, which will be appropriate loading um, for integrating back into the gym. Uh, also gives you a taste of, of our online program. Um, but you yeah, you don't want to just go straight into it. You, you may feel really good, and um, but you don't want to go back to the, the numbers you were lifting um, prior to this lockdown. Make sure you ease into it. Um, focus on attacking your running if you've been doing running for the last few weeks um, and just gradually build up your gym loads. That's really, really important to be able to make sure that you time your run uh, and you don't break too early. pre is all about consistency and just crediting in those reps over the 20 weeks or so the pre-season goes for. Uh, and in terms of uh, those that want to work with us at Prepare Like a Pro, uh, all our Melbourne coaches do work out of a gym. So if you're interested in some private training, we've got Dylan in the Box Hill area. Uh, we've got Kane in Spotswood area, uh, Ben out in Cranbourne, uh, Tom in Victoria. So if you're interested in any private coaching or to jump on our individualised coaching program, uh, all you need to do is email us at jack at preparelikeapro.com or you can fill out the um, athlete inquiry in our Instagram bio by clicking the link there in our bio and filling out the seven-day trial where I'll give you a call uh, and you'll get a seven-day free trial like I mentioned earlier. So uh, there's a couple of ways to get started. That's pretty much it, guys. It's been a big week. I've got the Australian Strength and Conditioning Association Level 3 course, which I'll be really looking forward to. Actually, one of the podcast guests, Lockie Wilmot, who's been on the show, uh, is presenting on that uh, level three course, it's something I've been looking to do for the last few years. And due to COVID, uh, it's going to be online, so that'll be interesting. But um, we've also got Dan Baker, who's the president of the association and also been on the podcast. He'll be um, running us through some things. Uh, so really looking forward to that. There's also a whole host of, of other um, practitioners that will be presenting to us and um, really looking forward to learning off those experts as well as... Um, meeting some other colleagues in the industry so that's a bit of a highlight for me and something i'm looking forward to it was also my first opportunity to present at the australian strength conditioning association uh, a bit of a weird one because that's online too so i did present on my computer and sent in the recording so i've got no idea i think i believe the the, the conference will obviously be presented in a few weeks time so you, you've got no idea how it's how it's been received but hopefully uh those that listen to it um it's helpful for you it was presented on something that i'm really passionate about and um i'll share that once once the conference starts um and it's out there i'll share that in the podcast world and, and maybe provide a bit of a 
update for those that didn't go to the conference um, what you can expect from that recording and and make sure that you our podcast listeners get a bit of a, the uh, learnings from it as well. But thanks for tuning into this episode. Like always, if you have any questions or queries, uh, make sure to reach out. Uh, I have been also doing a couple of debrief chats straight after the episodes on the new Wisdom app. It's an American platform, but no doubt it will pop up in Australia. We seem to be the little brother of America with some of these things, so especially the tech stuff. So I'm sure, or little sister, I'm sure we'll um, follow suit with that. It's going off in America. It just launched last week, um, and I'm one of the um, lucky enough to have an account with Wisdom and be able to share my podcast highlights on there. So if you're interested, download the app and I'll debrief all our chats directly after I post them. But you can also join me and, and help me debrief those chats if you listen to them live on our YouTube channel. See you net on the next episode, guys. Thanks for tuning in.